Is he a starter or is he a bullpen guy? Let's talk about it. What is going on, everyone? I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, before I begin, if you have not yet, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Share this out with anyone you know. I am on the road to 500 subscribers. And if you could all help me get there, I would greatly appreciate it. My goal is to get there by the time the regular season starts, which is at the end of this month. And it would mean a lot to me if you could all help me get there. So I would greatly appreciate it. All right. Now, I want to talk about the guy that you see in the thumbnail or that you saw in the thumbnail, and that is left-handed pitcher Nesta Cortez. All right. He did not have a great season last, last year. All right. He had a left rotator cuff strain. He was transferred to the, to the IL, and he was shut down for the season. He did try to come back and uh, make a start or uh, make an attempt to start. He did start but was then put back on the IL and he was shut down. Okay. So he logged a five and two record and a 4.970 RA with 67 strikeouts and 63 and one thirds innings pitched. So the shoulder was an issue. And in some of those games, it, it was uh, pretty obvious that something was wrong. Something was off. His pitches did not look like the same. And he did not look like uh, 2022 Nestor Cortez. You know, if you want to compare 2022 Nestor Cortez, he had a fantastic year. He was an all-star that year. And he had a 12-4 and record with a 2.44 ERA in 158 and one-third innings in which he started in 28 games. So – Night and day difference, right, between 2022-2023. So there was a lot of question marks whether or not he could be a starter, whether he can, you know, he can pitch uh, long innings, right? There, there was, there's a lot of question marks about that because, you know, there were games where he was, he was pulled out early and, you know, hitters were, um, had success against him, unfortunately, right? So um, it's never... Uh, you know, a good time when you, when your star pitcher, his game is off, right? It's never a good time to see that. But we got some encouraging news this time. So he had his spring training start against the Minnesota Twins. And when he made his spring training debut, he threw 48 pitches. So there was some significant improvement, all right? And he pitched two, two and two third innings, um, you know, struck out four, you know, gave up seven hits, gave up a couple of runs. But when we look at his fastball and cutter, right, just to talk about a couple of those pitches, in 2023, his fastball clocked in at 91.7 miles per hour. His cutter reached 85.9 miles per hour. Now we fast forward to 2024. His fastball reached at 92.2 miles per hour, and in his cutter stands at 87.2 miles per hour. So that's progress. That's progress. I'm happy to hear that he has made improvement. That's great. That is great. I'm, I, I like I like when a player comes back from an injury and um, fights through that ad adversity and shows improvement. He said he felt good. Um, the, you know, the, the pitches that he was throwing, he felt good where, where he was throwing them. So he's feeling great. He's feeling great. Now, the question I have here is, you know, do we see him as a long-term pitcher in the starting rotation? Or do you, do we think that these injuries will sneak up on him where you may have to put him in the bullpen? And he could be that pitcher that comes out of the bullpen, you know, uh, someone in that kind of that uh, that Michael King role where he could come in for two or three innings and 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 pitch some shutout innings. Right. And he can find success there. You know, for me, if you ask me, I, I think he does deserve another chance 
to be in the starting rotation. I was back and forth on this. I was saying maybe you put him back in the in the bullpen and you know you trade or sign for a pitcher, right? Or you know, you could bring up one of the young prospects, you could bring up Will Warren, he could be you know uh, the fifth starter in the in the rotate in the Yankees rotation. But after thinking about it some more, I thought, you know what? Let's Nestor Cortez deserves another shot in the starting rotation. You know, so 2023, yes, it was not a great year, but you look at 2022, he had an excellent year. It was a fantastic year for him. So for me, Nestor Cortez deserves another shot in the starting rotation. You know, he looked good in that game against the Twins where they won uh, 9-2. to two. He looked good to me. He looked great. Again, he did give up a lot of hits, but still did well, all things considered. Right? Now, should something happen, hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully he finds success in the starting rotation. But if something does not look right, if, 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 those, if, those, if the shoulder – is starting to become a problem for him or his rotator cuff starts becoming a problem for him and he's not able to pitch those long innings, I think it might be a good idea to put him in the bullpen and have him come out, pitch two or, you know, two or three innings. And he could, he could be that, he could be that type of pitcher as well. You know, so there, there is a benefit of having Nestor Cortez, whether he's a starter or you, you know, you, he pitches out of the bullpen, but again, to me, he deserves another shot. I like the progress that he has made. I, I like the reports that I'm reading. Hopefully, this trend continues in the right direction. And we see a better 2024 Nesta Cortez. He's the one guy that I am you know, go, going to be paying attention to a lot just because of, of the injury. I know a lot of folks were talking about, we're also talking about Carlos Radon. And I understand why. Just because Carlos Radon did not have a good first year in 2023 with the New York Yankees, but I, I, I just don't. Rodon was just never healthy to begin with. He was just been battling injuries throughout the season, or and even before the season began. So that was an issue. But Radon looked good when he pitched, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. But for me, the big question mark in that rotation for me is Nestor Cortez. And again, I he deserves another shot in the rotation, I and I hope he pitches well. I hope he pitches lights out. I want him to look like 2022 Nestor Cortez and has a bounce back year and is just absolutely killing it out there. All right? But you all tell me what you think. Do you think he deserves a shot to be in the rotation? Or would you pitch him out of the bullpen? You let me know. All right? If any other news comes out, you know I'm definitely going to let you know. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Share this out with anyone you know. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.